week it's a question about tornadoes, isn't it? Yeah, it really is uh, fairly timely too. And it's an interesting question as well when you think about the possibilities for this. So Mike and Davenport wondering why can't a tornado be stopped by an internal explosion? And this similar question has also been asked about hurricanes, but tornadoes, uh, they're a little bit of a different beast, especially because you're working on something that has to deal with a smaller scale. So the idea is, well, let's use an explosion to disrupt the flow of wind and heat energy that leads to the creation of these tornadoes as they're ongoing themselves. Well, there's a couple of problems with this. Number one, that energy can actually be transferred to another location. So while you may have an explosion on top of this particular tornado, there's so much spinning and rotation going on with the actual storm itself then a mere seconds later a few seconds later you may have another tornado that is a uh, result of that uh, energy being transferred to another location so not very practical there the other problem is that explosion can actually cause more damage than the tornado itself especially if you're talking about an explosion that is near a very populated area so there are definitely some problems with that. Interesting scenario, though. You can read more about this just before GMQC at 11. Go to WQAD.com, search for Ask Andrew. That's also, by the way, where you can submit your own question that I'll answer coming up Wednesday morning. We'll be right back with your top stories on GMQC right after this.